Hello again from Abundant Life Family Worship Center. Thank you so much for taking a minute to sit with me. I'm Sister D, and I just want to remind you to take time to think about the impact you're having on others and the image that you're showing people of God. I feel like it's our job to show people the heart of God because a lot of times people get lost in the rules and regulations and the, the reprimand and the structure that comes with religion. But when you think about the heart of God and how he drew you, how he draws us to him, that love and that compassion that we feel that overwhelms us to a point where we hear his voice, we become sensitive to his leading. It's that love and that compassion that will draw the next person. So instead of necessarily reprimanding people all the time, just remember to be compassionate. Remember to be kind. Remember to love on the people you come across. Try to remember not to get so consumed in the things of your day that you're not mindful of how you say things and how you come across to others. Because remember, we are the heart of God in person, right? That's who they see him through us. They're supposed to, right? So just remember to think about how you say things. Think about the intent that you had behind something that you said. Think about how that person looked like they received it. Just to take a second and be mindful of the impact that we're having on a day-to-day -day basis. That this day is not about my to-do list. This day is not about what hurt me this morning and I'm carrying it through the entire day. This day is about this moment. In this moment, I'm just gonna choose to encourage you. In this moment, I know you're angry, but I'm not gonna respond to you with the same anger because I don't know what broke you. I don't know what has you feeling that way. So yes, it takes a lot for us to step back and say, Holy Spirit, humble my flesh. Holy Spirit, help me to hear you in this moment. Lord God, help me to see you even in these people. Lord God, help me to say what it is that you need me to say. Just be mindful. Slow down just a little bit every day and be mindful of the heart of God that you should be showing others. And I think that our day will go much better if we take the time to slow down and think about what we're portraying to other people. And that's giving God a sincere praise and worship when we live that lifestyle of encouraging and drawing other people to him, to not gossip and join pity parties, pity parties, <laughs> but to simply encourage people that we come across to simply give a good morning and a smile when we may not feel like it. You never know what everybody else needs. So just, I pray that God reminds me to be compassionate, to be empathetic to other people. Because I think being able to show people the heart of God is the easiest way to allow them to open themselves for him to have access to their lives. And that's our sole purpose to do his work, right, in the flesh. Thank you for taking a minute to sit with me and for remembering to take a minute to, to visualize how you come across to other people. Are you showing each and every person you come in contact with the heart of God? We're gonna pray. Lord God, I thank you for this moment. I thank you for this quick reminder, God, I thank you for this humbling moment to just remind our flesh that it is not in control. Lord God, I thank you for this chance to sit with you, to hear from you, Lord God. I thank you for your Holy Spirit that unctions us to say, God, have your way in this moment. I thank you for your Holy Spirit that leads us and guides us. Lord God, we're just grateful for so much that you've done for us in our lives, Lord God that we would be robbing you to not share that goodness that we have experienced from you, Lord God, with others. Heavenly Father, please be with each and every person that's listening right now, Lord God. 
change whatever may be happening in the day that's not like you, Lord God. Search those areas of our heart that may not be where you want them to be, Lord God. Let your Holy Spirit do the work. We ask and we allow you to do the work. In Jesus' name, we ask and we pray. May you have a blessed rest of the day.